What's up, everybody? This is Adam Smith from Commander Smiths. Uh, you can check out our podcast, our weekly podcast. You can check it out on YouTube. Any of uh, your podcast way of listening, uh, we have a weekly podcast where we talk all things Commander. And we also do a lot of finance talk. Uh, this is part two of, I did open the box topper. So we got 10 um, Ultimate Masters boxes. And I did open all of these these 10 box toppers in the last video. If you want to check that out, you can check the link uh, below. But these are the ones, not a lot of high value stuff. We had some, you know, the Tarmogoyf, Cavern of Souls, Kozilek. But a lot of, uh, not the Snapcaster Mage I was hoping for, but you know, I'm happy with my Tarmogoyf that I'm very happy with, and I do love that Cavern of Souls. So now what I'm going to do is open all 10 of these boxes to see the value of each box and if it uh, corresponds, if, it, if I got my money back basically is what uh, we're gonna do here in this video. Uh, we did spend, 265 a box when we got these so that's my goal is to at least hit that amount if not more so why don't we get started i'm really just going to run through these i do have a box of stuff where i'm going to throw all the commons and all that so i'm really going to only look at the uncommons the rare and your foil just to kind of give you an idea but this is 10 boxes so i kind of got to fly through this pretty quick and if i miss something that's because there's 10 freaking boxes so Let's start it off, and like I said, at the end of the video, or end of the video, I'll break down each box. So I don't remember exactly. I think I started off with Veggie Vine for box number ten. So you can kind of check out that video to see which one it corresponds to, which one I opened the box topper with. So, but I'll show that at the end. But let's start this off right. Uh, well, we'll just do it the regular way. So we get that. Oh, and Eldrazi Conscription. Meh. Nothing really good there. Next pack, like I said, I'm just gonna tear through these pretty dang quick uh, so we can get through this pretty fast. All right, uh, Micaeus, the Unhallowed, that's my mythic for the box. It's okay, it's good for Commander, but you know, Buried Alive is pretty decent. I will take that as an uncommon, but uh, yeah. That's all right. I wish it would have been a different mythic. <laughs> Got my mythic out of the way for our pack number two, which that's kind of funny. Start off there. All right, let's get this next pack rolling. Uh, foil reckless charge, and then creeping tar pit. Creeping tar pit was over ten dollars before this reprint, but has dropped off since then. So that's meh on value. So so far this box. Now, I think I'm remembering it right, that this one had Veggie Vine in it. Now, that's the only one I kind of can remember the order of, so that I won't be able to think back to the other ones. Man, there we go. Use the teeth. When in doubt, use your teeth. All right, next one. Let's see. Wandering Champion, Thespian Stage. Meh. Anything else? Not really. Boom. There are some good uncommon commons in there. I'm really more looking for Eternal Witness and your Finks as my two that I really do like for the uncommons. I know there's more than that, uh, but those are the two that I am really just gonna pull out. Uh, I did take Buried Alive there. Actually, I'm not even sure that might have gone down because that has been printed a few times now. So, all right, let's move into this. Oh, ooh, I do like that. Alendra, the Archmage. That's pretty decent. Uh, not terribly expensive. I mean, it's up there, but it's not a complete bust on that one. All right. Yeah, gotta use the teeth. If I wanna move this quicker, I'm gonna have to use the teeth a lot more. All right, let's move it. All right, Mystical Retrieval. Oh, there we go. Tarmogoy, we'll take that. That might save the box a little bit here. I dig that. It's a little, it's a little different than this Tarmogoyf, but uh, <laughs> I love the visual of that. The man, the full art is just amazing. And that's, uh, we'll have some more videos on that too. But uh, you know, we make, I make my proxies. I try to make them full art. Um, we only do proxies of cards that we own. Um, I'll be doing a video on that eventually. But this is what I like to do with my cards. When it comes out, I try to take the art that the original art and make it full art like this Tarmogoyf looks. So I'm really excited about these box toppers and how they look visually. Gamble, meh. 
And nothing else in there. Next pack. So Tarmogoyf, that could have helped a little bit there, but you know, it's, oh man, I wish I had a running count right now so I could know or in my head. Hey, Emmercool, that's a good one there too. So we got three Mythics already out of this box. That's pretty dang good for a 24-pack box. I am liking that. And then I don't think there was any... Sorry if I pull things off camera there a little bit. Um, all right, next one. Let's keep moving. I'm happy with that. Emmercool, that's my... That's just a badass card. Too bad we can't use it in Commander. Everything else is... Not everything, but, you know, modern you can use that bad boy with. So that is definitely a good card to have in there. Oh, Foil, Fire, and Ice, and then Sublime Archangel. You know, I think I've been throwing my foils. <laughs> yeah, I have. I've been throwing the foils, even if they were commons and all that, in the crappy pile. I think I'm going to start pulling those out a little bit. All right. I think we're about... Yeah, what is that? Almost halfway through the box, if not halfway. Uh, ooh, Demonic Tutor. I will definitely take that card. That is sweet art. I definitely love that card. Oh, I said I was going to take the foils out, and then I almost didn't do it. All right, next pack. I really do like that Demonic Tutor art. That is a very sweet card. I almost like it more than the original. Blasphemy. All right, Fiend Hunter. Hey, Fauna Shaman. That's pretty good. Or Fauna Shaman, whatever, however you want to say it. Everything else, meh. Fiend Hunter foil. We need one of those uh, Snapcaster foils or something like that, or Liliana foils. We need to make up a little bit. I mean, like I said, Tarmogoyf and Mercool are pretty good in the box, but hey, there we go. I was just saying we needed a nice rare foil. Uh, this should be up there. And then Entomb as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. It was Alendra as well with the uh, Archmage, but now we have a foil and a non-foil for that. All right, everything else. That's kind of crazy. No Kitchen Finks or Eternal Witness, like I was saying, the ones that I really wanted for Uncommons. I just really like the visually how the Eternal Witness looks. The new uh, art with that bad boy. All right, and Wall of Reverence. Still nothing there. Oh, foils. Pull those out, Adam. Pull them out. Yeah, the way this is going, we might just do five and five. So this might be a two-part video. So you might have to actually watch the second video. Three-part video, because we have the box hoppers. Unicorn, dig through time, and meh, everything else meh. Keep on moving. This value of this box is decent. Uh, it's, I'm hoping at least it's a break even. Hey, a foil gamble. So we got two foils, uh, foil rares in that. Man, Lava Claw Reaches is a meh. These are pretty decent for my uncommons there. But we will get those off to the side for now. We can do the value at the end. Yeah, I'm all about the teeth now. That's what she said. All right, and the Umbra, Bridge from Below, pretty decent. We got Slippery Boggle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little slippery there. Ha! It's a lot better when I have Lowry with me because I can't bounce my jokes off. That is just me laughing, and it sounds really sad that I'm laughing at myself. All right. Eh, hey, Foil Shriek Ma, I like it. Hey, Phyrexian Altar, now that's pretty decent. I will definitely take that. I like that art with that. And the Foil Shriek Ma isn't bad either. That's, that's a decent card right there. Especially for your commander players out there. All right, Fulminator Mage. Hey, there's my Kitchen Finks. That's a pretty decent box right there. All right, now it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. So we're gonna make up a little bit here. We need to get 
Got Liliana or something in there. Get the Snapcaster Mage. And surprisingly, out of all these boxes and all throughout Magic, I don't have... Well, I'm looking for a Snapcaster because I don't have one. And also Bitter Blossom is another one, which kind of is the this art token uh, is for Bitter Blossom. So it'd be nice to pull one of those. Ruined Halo, that's pretty decent. Had good value before the reprint. All right, what did I say? I said six, so now we're down to the last five packs here. Okay. And Sovereigns of Lost or Lara. Blah. That's kind of a dud pack. Dud pack there. So I would not be happy opening one of those packs and getting something like that for the amount of money you spend on just one pack with all this stuff. That's why you gotta get boxes, because you get the box topper with it. All right, foil. Hey, all is dust. That's pretty decent. Lava Spike is pretty good there. And the last three. Let's move that over. Box 10 will be out of the picture so I can get everything in there. Well, now it feels like I have more room because I don't have that box sitting right in front of me. Got to move a little bit quicker, I think. Nourishing Shoal, Nourishing Shoal, not very good. Oh, keep forgetting the foils. I'm going to have to go back through and take out, go through and find the foils because I am skipping a lot of those commons and uncommons that aren't very good. All right, last two packs. Oh, Rhea, Rhea, come on, Rhea. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think I got value in this box. I mean, it did help to have the Tarmogoyf, but with my box topper being, I believe, Veggie Vine, I don't think, unless this can get me one of the, uh, you know, Liliana or Snapcaster, I don't think I'm gonna get my value back on this. Uh, Tassiger, yeah, that did. Hey, but I'll take the Eternal Witness in there. So, box 10, I don't think did very well. Um, by this point, I should probably already have the numbers up, so we'll be able to see actually what the, the totals were for box 10, but uh, overall, it didn't look like things were that great in the box, especially when you're using, if I'm right with that, I believe it was Veggie Vine. So your, your top getters in that one, uh, Demonic Tutor's pretty decent there, all is dust, Phyrexian, Foil Gamble, Foil uh, Alendra, and then you're looking at Emmercool and Tarmogoyf in a regular Alendra. So you got a pretty decent cards in it, but it, to make back my 265, ugh, it might be a little close on that. So that is box number 10. Well, let's move on to box number 9. All right, well, we're going to keep flying through. So that took about 13 minutes, uh, 10 minutes apiece. I think we can get this all going. Start to get the hang of it. My garbage can is already starting to fill up there. And I'm only on box one. This is going to be overflowing at the end. All right. I don't remember what box nine had, but I will have that in the notes. Woodfall Primus. Everything else. Kind of garbage. Next pack. I'm just kind of surprised. I Out of a box... I, like the cards I've been saying I need, I have not seen. I mean, it is, there's so many in this set, but I'm not seeing my... Oh, there we go. We'll take an Eternal Witness in there. Not seeing the Liliana, not seeing the Bitter Blossom. In fact, uh, I was watching if you check out... You know, there's a bunch of people opening boxes right now. I watched uh, Saffron Olives yesterday, and he didn't pull a Bitter Blossom either in that one. He did pull some snapca a Snapcaster made, which is nice. Hey, Foil Vexing Double, I'll take that. The Grave Troll, and I think that's about it there, yeah. Foil Vexing Double will be, uh, be worth something there. So by itself is, uh, used to be a $10 card, but now everything's gonna drop in this. Like I've said it before, oh, huh, Young Pyromance, hey, Goriel's Vengeance, that is a card I did not have before. Laboratory Maniac, that's uh, my first one of that too. Kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, 
You just feel after opening a box, you should get almost every uncommon sometimes. That's how I feel sometimes, that you should at least have one copy of it, and that's my second box and the first Laboratory Maniac. So, all right, uh, Wildwood. Foil Patchwork Gnomes. All right, nothing else. Moving on to the next pack. So at the same time I'm doing all this, I have my two little boys sleeping, so I'm checking on them. Oh, foil, living lore. And then we got a squee. And that'll do it for that. So if you catch me being a little quiet every now and then, it's because I'm checking the camera to make sure they're still sleeping. Because, uh, yeah, don't want them screaming while I'm doing this. Well, I'll have to go get them and take a break here. All right. Moving in here, let's see. All right, Phyrexian Tower, that's pretty decent. Everything else, we'll take that foil. All right. Man, come on. Let's go with these Snapcasters here. Well, that's what everybody says, but seriously, I don't have one, so I'm even more rooting for a Snapcaster to pop up here. Oh, Tallrand, all right. And then everything else, garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Not looking good for this box. I know it's probably only a third of the way through, but man, it's not. Life from the Loam, that's pretty decent. Prey Upon. Ugh. It's my sigh of, holy crap, I'm not getting my value. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. Fairy Rogue. All right, Reviving Vapors. Raging Ravine. That was, I, I like uh, the blue-white one. I'm brain farting on the name of it. and uh, Would definitely like that one, but Raging Ravine is probably the next, next most expensive one, so that one's okay for the man lands. All right, next. Boom. Nothing. And a regular Vexing Devil. That's my foil, Cranker Abomination. Or Canker. I said Cranker. Alright. This is me so many repeats of me just wishing for cards to come up. That one's a pretty much a dud bot or pack there as well. But seriously, I'll be really happy if I get a few of those. Out of ten boxes, you would think you'd get quite a few of those out of the ten. I was hoping that one of them would be the box topper. <laughs> hey, Dark Depths, I will definitely take that. I believe that is my first mythic. Is Corio's? No. I think that is my first mythic in this box, where I had three, like, right away in box number 10, so that's pretty crazy. Very nice. I do like the art in the new art with Dark Depths. You can actually kind of see that it is a huge freaking monster instead of... The old Dark Depths, you could barely vaguely see because you're looking almost like you're looking down uh, through the ice. All right. Oh, through the breach. So we got Monster E Monster. And then Faith Fetters with the foil. I'll take that through the breach. You know, 10, 15 bucks or something like that. There's quite a few cards. I need to talk that I don't have a pack in my mouth. Quite a few cards that I actually didn't have because it's modern more staples, so I don't I don't have through the breach. Dark Depths isn't necessarily, I mean, it is a used in that, but, uh, you know, we're commander base, so I don't have a lot of those. Hey, back to the basics and a Kitchen Finks. I will definitely take that. I do like back to the basics. That is awesome, man, my Kitchen Finks. Gotta love those Kitchen Finks. So that's one card I would say, I have a list of cards. Uh, that would be definitely one you want to look at getting really cheap now. I mean, it's going to drop out and, you know, those would pop back up to eight bucks at some point here. So I definitely would probably look at getting, picking a few of those up. So prismatic lens, another all is dust. My prismatic lens is the foil. That's it for that one. What do we got left? Two, four, six, seven, eight packs left. So we are on the last third of the box here so come on let's get it here all right we'll take a liliana the veil i dig that and we got a lava spike in there i will definitely take that that is awesome hey miss liliana 
Look at this lady. That's sweet. I'm so tempted to just be like, I wish it was foiled. <laughs> All right, Ancient Tomb, that's pretty decent there. Resurrection, I do like that art with that. Uh, I was just taking apart a deck last night of a deck that I, well, my Animar deck had uh, Resurrection in there. And I definitely like this art so much better than the old school. Mine's the Revised, yeah, Revised or 5th Edition, I forget which one it was. I think it's 5th Edition, actually. And I definitely like the Resurrection art with that. Not to break that down because it's uh, common, but anyways. <laughs> hey, there we go. Foil Phyrexian, Phyrexian Altar, definitely. Now this box is turning out to be pretty nice on the last third there. Daybreak, oh, that's pretty decent. Wow. Foil Phyrexian Altar, now that's pretty sweet. That is really sweet. I like this box so far. All right, let's keep it, keep it going with these last third here. Oh, spoils of the vault, me. And Shriekmont's good in there, but we got a foil treasure cruise. You know, I'm gonna run out of spots for all the crappy cards, all the commons and uncommons over there. With 10 boxes full, this is, I'm gonna have to take a break and switch all that out. All right. Oh, flagstone and mirror. Oh, that's my foil there. It's not maze balls, but I'll take it. Take it, take it. Last three packs. Let's get them all out. Three packs. One, two, three. And we will move box number nine back. Overall, box number nine is, I think, it, I don't remember the box topper. That's the one problem. I wish I remembered that, which one it was. If I looked at the video, I would know, but uh, definitely, ooh, Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth. Uh, definitely wish I, and I do like Devoted Druid. Sleight of Hand is my foil there. Knew what the box topper was on this, because this is a very good box with getting Liliana in there and the foil altar there. So, it's going to be interesting to see what the totals come out to be in this. All right, so we go, oh, Ulamog, Mr. Ulamog. Foil turn to mist and garbage. Garbage. And the last pack of box number nine. Well, we did that. See, we did that in 10 minutes. We can get this all in 10 minutes here. All right. Boom, boom. Maelstrom pulse. That'd be. And then the grave scrabber. Scrabber? Scrabber. So, let's look back on this really quick. Don't know what the box topper is, like I keep saying, but when you're looking at it, we got Goriel's Vengeance is pretty decent. Ulamog, Liliana, Life from the Loam, Urborg, Phyrexian Altar, Foil, Ancient Tomb is decent there. Back to the Basics, Dark Depths. Man, this actually turned out to be a really good box here. Through the Breach, Phyrexian Tower, I'm not sure how much the living lore would be for uh, it being foil and then a vexing devil foil. So I think this this was a pretty decent box here. I'm very interested to see what the totals turned out for box number nine. Uh, and I'll make a wild guess here and I'll probably be completely wrong and you already know because I have it on there. But I feel like box number nine beat box 10. So I feel like that is the number one box. Box to beat, box number nine. All right, let's move to box number eight. Started off with the, uh, let's go with the Karn. Karn picture, maybe we get a Karn in the Karn picture. Box number eight. All right. Hey, that's a pretty good start. Mr. Snapcaster, I've been saying I need him. And I got him. I will definitely take that. Woo, hey, Snappy. Maybe I get Karn in a Liliana pack. I got a Snapcaster in a Karn pack. All right. Uh, don't like those guys. And then my foil is Crow of the Dark Tidings. Anything else good in there? Nope, no good on commons. Next, Snapcaster really makes up for it. Makes up for it. It's the first freaking pack. Of course, it makes up for it. That 
keep that up. This pet, this box would be amazing. It'd be the best box ever. Man, you get a green shoal and then the blue or blue shoal and now the green shoal. Uh, Olivia's dragoon. Everything else is crap. 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 All right, now I'm starting the second level over there. Come on, box number eight. Let's beat box number nine. All right. Boom, boom, all is dust. Man, we are getting a ton of all is dust. Foil Frantic Search, that should probably be worth something, I would think. Um, that's a pretty decent card. Frantic Search is an awesome card, and then just that foil of that, that's gonna be pretty good. It's gotta be a couple bucks there. Hey, Celestial Colonnade. There we go. That's a good rare. Take that Reckless Worm as my foil. Everything else garbage. All right. Next. Boom. Boom. Hey, Engineered Explosives. Hey, we will take Eternal Witness in there, too. That's a pretty good pack right there. Uh... The worm is not very good, but we will definitely take the others with that. And those are that's a pretty good card. If I keep taking these off of the camera, I apologize. <laughs> I'm trying to actually watch it while I'm uh, doing this, but it's a little hard to watch the packs. I'll make sure I'm actually keeping this all on camera. So where have I had it? I've had it here. Yeah, let's keep it up here. Uh, Desolate Lighthouse, meh. Demir Guild Mage, meh. All right, so out of the cards that I've been saying that I need that I don't have, kind of looking for a Bitter Blossom. I know that's not one of the most expensive ones, but Bitter Blossom would be pretty awesome to have. Because that is one card, and I would like to start using that for Commander. Oh, but I will take a Liliana. Frick yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's get a Karn in there. How about that? I, I'd like to have a Karn. That's what I'm calling for next. Karn or... I Seriously, I do want a Bitter Blossom just as a funnel. But man, just these two cards alone. Depends on that dang box topper. We will see what the, uh, the cost of this is. But those two are really holding it up. And I'm not even halfway through the box yet. Uh, Containment Priest... Pretty decent. Miraculous recovery. Everything else garbage. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's keep this box rolling. I wanna give uh, Maelstrom Pulse, I was gonna say, I wanna give a box number nine a run for its money, God's willing, and nothing. Oh, look at that. You see that? Three Karns right up. That's that's a sign right there. That means that there's a Karn. Karn in these, one of these three packs. Not this one. <laughs> Definitely not this one. Can you do the opposite and be just more garbage? That's what that pack was. But let's grab the next Karn. Whoa. It's all underneath. It's Veggie Vine, Veggie Vine, Veggie Vine. Might be three veggie vines. We'll see what's under the Karn. All right. Number two of the Karn packs. Uh, seismic Assault. Meh. All right. Here's the third Karn. Hey, look at that. Maybe they were all doing that and I didn't notice it, but now we have all three veggie vines. That's interesting. What is the variety here? You have Karn, Liliana, Veggie Vine, Snapcaster. Trying to see all the pack covers. Trying to see what the, the mix up it could be. Visions of Beyond, meh. And nothing else. All right, that was actually my son. Sorry, the kind of clip there. Son came in when the, in the middle of that opening the pack. <laughs> Came down, Daddy, where's Mommy? All right, gotta continue here. He's uh, now watching iPad while he's, he actually got the flu as well from me. Or we both got it at the same time. All right, keep going, here we go. Hey, Gorio's Vengeance, definitely take that. Just the wind, don't worry, it's just the wind. That's okay. Gorio's Vengeance is decent. 
especially for modern there. All right, boom, boom, squee, Mr. Squee. Nothing else there. Now, I said before is uh, in this video, if you haven't seen it, we did the box toppers before, and if I split this up, which I may do into two videos, we'll have a second one of all the boxes. But then we also have the Commander Smith's uh, battle boxes, so me against Lowry. And the loser, we have a Wheel of Fate that we're going to be taking shots of the most disgusting... Ugh, reanimate. Most disgusting shots. I mean, one to the famous one that everybody... I've never taken, but I've tried to order it before, is the Concrete Mixer. So the loser of battle boxes will end up having to take that. Or not that. We have, I think, six different shots that we are... One's called Smoker's Cough, which consists of... I think it was Bacardi, and it has mayonnaise, warm mayonnaise in it. So, whoever, ooh, Foil Pattern Rebirth. And Sergarda for my mythic there, but Foil Pattern Rebirth is pretty sweet there. So, yeah, if you're interested with that, you should, might want to check out those videos. Or that'll be after all this. It won't be, probably come out a day later, just because I didn't want to get Mr. Lowry sick with what I had. And I definitely wanted to get these videos out, so that's why we're opening these, since I got all these boxes. Me and La Lowry and I got a box each for the battle boxes, so. All right, Tassiger, not good. All right, Wandering Champion Foil, everything else, meh. And we'll go into how many packs? We got one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Six packs left. I mean, you got Snapcaster and Liliana. Does ever, uh, is that enough to even overcome the, I don't know, Phyrexian Tower? That's pretty good. The Eel Umbra for the foil. Oh, this is starting to get sloppy over here. So yeah, like I said, you want to check out that video. I'll probably announce it again as we're doing this video. Oh, uh, Raging Ravine, and Buried Alive, and a Foil Desperate Ritual. Foil Desperate Ritual might be worth something there. If you either want to watch us, say so what we do is we do a round by round, so we're gonna do a new style, of basically like war, where we're each opening a pack, and then whoever wins the rounds, or loses the rounds, has to take the shot of whatever the Wheel of Fate. Eh, that wasn't a very good pack. Whatever the Wheel of Fate decides. So that'll be interesting. Kind of the other reason why we didn't do that today is because if I would have taken that today, I probably would have puked no matter what because of not feeling, having the stomach bug go around. Mystic Retrieval. Oh, uh, Golgari. Oh, uh, we need to really make up for some stuff here in the last two packs. Oh, forgot to take these out. Last two packs here. Eight. All right. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Boom. Hey, Woodfall Primus Foil. Daybreak. Oh, man. Woodfall Primus Foil might be pretty decent. That's actually pretty good there. See that shininess? Shiny. Very nice. All right, last pack. I don't think this beat number nine unless something big comes out here because box number nine, I think, had a lot more value to it. All right, and Vexing Devil. Uh, yeah, I don't think this one beat number nine. So we have Liliana and Snapcaster. You have a Foil Frantic Search, Foil Woodfall. Is there any others? Raging Ravine is okay. Uh, Phyrexian Tower, Foil, so we got two Foil Rares in that. Gorios, and the Containment Priest is a few, or, uh, Engineered Explosives is up there, and Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, I don't, I, overall, and I'm just guessing on all this, I still think box number nine is the box to beat. Uh, it kind of really depended on what was drawn with um, the box toppers, because now I'm really just up in the air of what I got, which box got what. So you're probably looking at, I mean, whatever one got Tarmogoyf is really going to have a, a head start on the boxes. All right, so we move into box number seven.
So you think I've had this down to a science now. It's box number seven, and I struggled with that pack. All right, started off good. Groundskeeper, stirring wildwood, kitchen finks. Hey, that's all right. We'll take that. Groundskeeper, foil, meh. Kitchen finks, though. <laughs> I'm like more excited about the kitchen finks than stirring wildwood. <laughs> Uh, all right, it should never happen that way where you're excited for the uncommon. Uh, dig through time and the foil, furnace celebration, everything else, garbage. So we are four boxes in. Oh, I see Gaddock Teague. I saw him, I snuck it. That's pretty decent. Uh, Sky Spear Calvary and Laboratory Maniac. That's all right. Come on, box number seven. Let's get that Karn now. We got our Snapcaster in there. Let's get a Karn in there. Karn, Karn, Karn. Prey Upon, Reanimate, and nothing else. Boom! Oh, Gorio's Vengeance. Man, that's the third Gorio's out of these boxes. I mean, that's out of three boxes, so <laughs> four boxes. Hey, there's some pretty, two good uncommons there. Laboratory Maniac and uh, Devoted Druid in that. So that was a pretty good uncommon. And Slippery Boggle is pretty good there too. one is really struggling. I am uh, box number seven. This is not the box to... Well, and I could be saying that and that's the Tarmogoyf box, but I don't, I think that came later. Hyena Umbra, Life from the Loam is good. Hyena Umbra foil might be something because I know the regular non-foil I think was used to be around a buck or so. So it's got to be a couple bucks there, I would think. All right, boom. Hey, uh, I wish it was one of the better ones, but it's a mythic Balefire, Balefire Dragon as my foil there. And then Tassiger, so anticlimactic, anticlimactic there. But foil Bale, Balefire Dragon is pretty decent. Yeah, I might move Dragon over here. I don't even know why I have Stirring Wildwood should be in a different pile in itself. That should be not a pile in itself, just not in the the good pile. All right. Uh, thespian Stage. Foil Fume Spitter. And nothing. So still, out of the top ones that I can think of off the top of my head, seven boxes in, or seven boxes, four boxes in, we're not seeing Bitter Blossom yet or Karn are the two big... Takers to Phyrexian Altar, definitely take that. Foil Faithless Looting is pretty good. Buried Alive is pretty good. That was a pretty good box right or pack right there. I think that's off the top of my head the only ones I can think of that uh, really the ones that we haven't gotten yet. Foil Mage Ring Network, Veggie Vine. Well, we got that as a box hopper. Uh, two of those to be. Correct with that, but uh, two, what, that'd be funny if this was the second Veggie Vine box. Be like, oh, well, oh, you know what? No, I'm uh, Noble Hierarch is another one I think I forgot about. We haven't gotten Noble Hierarch yet. So those three kind of looking for. Bitter Blossom isn't going to be on the high end, but like I said, I want them. So <laughs> Creeping Tar Pit, God's Will Foil. I think that's the second God's Will Foil I have. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, oh, desolate. Lava Spike. 
We'll take that in there. Here we got foil and non-foil of him, but that doesn't matter. Garna, the blood thing, flame, has my foil. Man, we really gotta step it up here. We need uh, one of those that I was just talking about because this is a struggling box. Herborg is always good. Spark Spitter is my foil, and that's it. All right, what do we got left? It's gotta be almost, yeah, we're almost to a third of the box left. Not looking good. Bridge from below. Mad Prophet, Mahamori Jin, Mahamori. That's our old school card when we used to play. That was the beast. Flying 5-6. Could not mess with that, that and Sari Angel. Lord of Extinction, so we have well, I guess I got three mythics so far with that. Rune Snag. And is that it for mythics in that so far? Boom, 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 boom. I mean, you got some pretty good rares that are in here. Yep, so three mythics, but one's the foil mythic. And I think we're on the last third. Three. Six, seven, so we just passed that last one was the beginning of the last third. The first box when we started that, that was uh, the beginning of really good cards. Fulminator Mage, uh, Mark of the Vampire, Desperate Ritual, Devoted Druid. All right. Six packs left. Really need some... Uh, Good cards here to step this up. Boom. No. Ruined Halo. Just the wind foil again. This could be our lowest box, depending on what the box topper was. So far, we don't have uh, any of the big hitters in there. Flagstone. Another one of those. Man, yeah, I don't know. This one might be, let's do the last four packs here. Box number seven, we'll just move off to the side there. All right, boom, oh, didn't even see. Seize the day is the one there. Uh, blood flow, that, oh, eternal witness, take that. So I got the Balefire Dragon as the only foil, foil rare plus in this so far. Eel Umbra, Engineered Explosives, that's pretty decent. Oh, let's put that Eel Umbra there. Two packs left. Uh, he used to be a rare. Oh, my case, the unhallowed. Not happy with this. We're on the last pack. I think this by far might be the lowest box. Unless, like I said, Tarmer Boyf is in it. <laughs> then I am speaking bullshit right now. All right, Magnus of the Bazaar. That is an anticlimactic way to end that freaking box. That sucks. All right, let's look at that box really quick. So we have those guys engineered explosives i wouldn't say necessarily lord of extinction is gonna be a ton um ruined halo is pretty decent fulminator mage urborg um uh, phyrexian altars in there life of the loam Gorial's vengeance is okay it's not way up there so yeah that might be our lowest box i think so far depending on the box topper if you take the value of just what was in it without the box topper, this might definitely be the lowest box so far. Let's move into f number six. So we have three, four, five. So this might be our last one, and we will start a second video for the last five, and then you can kind of see the totals. So we don't have... All right. Number one. What do we start off with? 
Right, ritual, foil, seismic assault, meh. And everything else, meh. So a meh kind of pack. Yeah, I feel like when I did the box toppers, if I remember right, Tarmogoyf was the last one. Oh, the sweet art of the vengeful rebirth, and that's the foil. Daybreak. So that was another break. Uh, my son came down again, so now he's going to play in the basement. So that's why there's a little gap there. All right, let us move into the next pack. Temporal Manipulation, that one is the first Mythic in this. Um, it was worth a lot, uh, but that's only because it wasn't printed <laughs> very much. So it's more of the reason that that price was so high is because it really, it was printed a long time ago and there was really none of that printing, so it was worth a lot. If I could get that price back up to that, which that's a little different. Those, like cards like that, it's tough because I don't think they'll recover their price like normal things like Snapcaster and Liliana. All right, next pack. A lot of home interruptions today. <laughs> All right, we're moving in. Boom. Herborg. We got a lot of Herborgs here. If you hear random sounds in the background, as my son playing downstairs in the basement. He's four, so he makes lots of noises. <laughs> All right, Cavern of Souls. All right, wow, look at that. Three mythics. And we're three, four, five, six, seven packs in. So about almost a third of the way through, we got that. Another foil resurrection. Always love those Cavern of Souls. So that's a card example of that. So you're gonna, this card's gonna drop and you just hold on to it until it recovers its price back up again. All right, most interruptions ever in this video. <laughs> box number six is the interruption box. Oh, Woodfall, Woodfall Fall Primus, Lava Spike, Mahamodi Jin again. All right, this is kind of crazy, the three Mythics there in the first third. I think I only had two Mythics in my last box. Well, then you got the foil Mythic that was in there. All right, hey, Noble Hierarch, first one. So we're halfway through and we get our first Noble Hierarch. So that's pretty good, I guess. So now, cards we're shooting for that we have not seen yet is Karn and Bitter Blossom are the two that I have not seen. So let's hope we get that here coming up. Celestial Colonnade, so that's another decent card there. Decent Man Land. So that's a pretty good pack. So that's another one. Although that was printed back in World Wake, so you know, that was such a long time ago that the price dropping might be a little bit Simple, similar to temporal manipulation is it might not go back up as much because now we're getting a ton of those printed We will definitely see but definitely like cards like cavern of souls You just hold on to for six months to a year and those prices will recover and then that's when you kind of start to dump things All right, that was a gross pack, so we'll keep moving on uh, through the breach through the breach. Anything else? <sighs> Raging Ravine. So we got two man lands there. Last gasp for your foil and devoted druid. Especially when you get Noble Hierarch mixed in the mix, mixed in the mix. It's actually pretty decent bringing the value up there. Ooh, a Foil Gaddock Teague? That's pretty amazeballs right there. Foil Gaddock Teague, Spoils of the Vault, meh. 
All right. Where's our Karn? Where's our Karn? Karn or Bitter Blossom? Karn or Bitter Blossom? Living Lore. That's the second foil of Living Lore. Well, that's not Karn or Bitter Blossom. It's just garbage. <laughs> okay. Let's get the Liliana pack. I don't know, with the foil Gaddock Teague. Man, that value could be pretty high with that. I don't know what that's running right now. Eldrazi Conscription, Pell of Darkness. Oh, we're running out of space to put the cards. All right, next pack, boom. Maelstrom Pulse. Miraculous Recovery, Desperate Ritual. Okay, what are we at? Two, four, six, seven. So that was the last third. Started the last third on that last pack. Uh, garbage. Another Eternal Witness, though. All right, all right. Hey, now we got the three cards sitting there. I like when it does that. It does something to my psyche. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen that. I'm not saying ooh isn't good, and I'm just glad that I haven't seen that a lot as my rare. Because that is crap. Oh, so many packs. Boom. Think twice. Tauron, come on. You gotta have a mix of good shit in there, not just all garbage. Tauron, Tauron, Tauron. Be nice to get like a, a really, I mean, Gaddock Teague is, I don't let, I'm not complaining about that, but a foil of the, the big boys would be nice. Treasure Cruise, Lava Claw Reaches. Got a lot of man lands in this deck. Or this pet or box. All right, last three for box number six. Boom, boom. Ugh, Tassiger. God damn you, Tassiger. So I did get the um, box topper when I tried to order. Um, that special, I don't know why I'm like brain farting on that, but the, not Ultimate Masters, but the from uh, Guild of Ravnica, the special stuff uh, with the eight Planeswalkers, and they sent me a bo box topper because I had troubles with it. I did end up getting a box of that, but I got Tassiger in there, and at the time, Pattern Rebirth, I was actually able to sell it right after I got it in the mail. I sold it for 175 bucks. Now, the prices have definitely dropped from that point uh but that was a pretty nice free 175 dollars i got out of it all right last pack let's let's be good no no not good okay this may have been one of the worst boxes and it keeps getting worse i don't like that it's doing that we're going the opposite way so through five boxes i mean you got those are my mythics in there let's see what else do we got that's worth something here? Oh, Conscription was, Region Ravine, Through the Breach, Celestial, Noble Hierarch was the big one there. Herborg. Oh, that's pretty much it. So this one, I now I'm putting as the low box. I, go, I want my boxes as they go up to be, this one's better than that one, and this one's better than that. But so far, every one of it seems like it's been going lower and lower. So that's no good. All right, so we are through five boxes. We will continue the next five boxes on the next video because I want to cut this so it's not a two hour long video of people watching. So the next five boxes, we'll see if we recoup the value on that. So uh, like I said, you can follow us. Uh, I also have a Twitter com account, uh, Commander Smiths, at Commander Smiths. Uh, you can email us as well. But like I said, we have a weekly show that we do on Mondays, released normally on Mondays. Um, that we talk all things commander and finance, so hence kind of this part of it. Uh, so then you guys can check us out there. 
And like I said, if you want to see the conclusion of the, the 10 boxes, it is going to be in the next video. So uh, we'll see you then. Bye.